Welcome to another very exciting Hackaround series and today we are going to be talking about mean, median and mode. This is day zero of 10 days of statistics and the objective of this series is to help you gain knowledge of statistics and math easily uh, without any stress and this you need as a programmer or a software engineer or just an enthusiast. So we're going to be solving the problem here. We're also going to be using our whiteboard to do anything in case we need to write something or explain something to you. And then we're also going to be using PyCharm to, to write our codes if necessary right here. So let's go ahead to dive right in. If you are joining for the first time, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss an update. This is the very easiest way you can learn uh, basic calculation and improve your, pro your problem solving skills. So let's look at this problem. So basically you are given an array, calculate the mean, the median, and the modes. I use my whiteboard this time. So you are given an array A, R, and the mean is simply equal to, so let's go ahead to calculate it, is equal to ln of A, R, uh, actually the sum over the length. So it's going to be the sum over the length and the mode, so in the case of the mode, I'm going to just explain it and I'm going to further explain it in the code. In the case of the mode, it's going to be the count of, so I'm going to say AR0, so set the mode to the first item in the list, and then you are going to iterate through the list and then count the occurrence of each element. So if if we have something like the ARR is equal to 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, and in this case we're going to set our count to 1, so we're going to check count, count 1 is 1, count 2 is 2, we're going to replace count with this value here, and we count 3 is 1, it's not going to replace and so on. So this is how you do the count, we're going to write the loop and then you see how it works. Now in case of the median, that's where you need to pay attention. Now, in case of the median, the median is the middle element. Now, if this array, the length of this array is even, if the length of this array is even, or let's start with this odd, then the median will be the element, median will be the element at mid. So let's kind of calculate the mid position first. So the mid position, the mid index is going to be uh, the length of the array floor divided by 2. So in that case, if the array is 7, so this is going to give us what? It's going to give us 3. So if it's 5, it's also going to give us 2, and that gives us the element at index 2, because we have 0 base index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Floor division is going to give us exactly the element at the middle for the vision of the length over 2. Else, if this array is not uh, odd, if the length is not odd, it's going to be else. So in this case, the mid is still the same value, so the mid is still length of the array floor divided by 2, but in this case now, the, 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 the so what you are saying is that if you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it's going to be the average of these two numbers. So the floor division is going to give us this element where you have 6, length of 6 divided by 3 is going to give us item at index 3. So we're going to take item at index 3. So it means that the median is going to give us the item at index mid. So it's going to be a R R or A R mid plus A R mid minus one all over two. So these are median, this is our median, this is our mode, and this is our mean. So those are the three things you want us to calculate. Let's go to write the code right now. Alright, so I'm going to go to the the hack around window at this time. Now, there's something interesting happening here. Now, they don't give us any list of items, so we are responsible for reading the items. And in this case, we are reading these items, and we are going to be storing these items. The best way to read list of items is to read it using list comprehension. And in this case, we are going to be reading 
a string of space separated uh, characters and then we are going to convert it to integer for each of them and then convert to a list so let's say we are reading the end so it's going to be the integer n, the number of items to read. I'm going to now use list comprehension to read all the other items. List comprehension is very important and if you want to learn more about it, this is not a, this is not a class on list comprehension. Please check the description box of this video below. You're going to find uh, a tutorial I made on list comprehension. So I'm going to say int x for x in input dot strip dot split so we are splitting it by space like this so we now have our a which is the items right for you to calculate the median we need to sort these items so let me just say a dot sort so these uh i'm sorting it in place so we have a, uh, a uh, this sort function has a side effect on the original array so let's calculate our mean so i'm going to say mean is equal to sum of a divided by line a i think this is quite simple to understand and now let's calculate our mode so let's say mode is the first item in the list so it's going to be a zero so we are going to check subsequent items sorry it's going to be um yeah a zero is going to be the first item so we're going to check the count for the subsequent items and see if any of them are cause more than this first item and then we are going to um, we are going to to replace the mode. So we are going to say if, um, going to have a count here first to hold the count. So the count is equal to zero. So it means that a zero appears count times. So I'm going to look for for each element in a. Okay. For each element in A, I'm going to say if A dot count of that element is greater than the a current mode, if it's greater than the current mode, then we are going to simply replace the current mode by say mode is equal to ELE, mode is equal to that element, okay? Else if, if A dot count of the elements is equal to the modes is equal to the modes i will simply take the mode to be the maximum of the two so actually this is not necessary to do but uh let me just do it yeah i think we could just have left this line of code maybe all right so let's continue so in this case at the end of this loop we are simply going to have this mode uh, to be the correct uh, mode all right so the next thing we are going to do now is to calculate the median so the median so i'm going to use a simple if statement so i'm going to say if the the length of the array is, uh, is odd so if the length of the array the length of a um divided by two uh, does not give us zero which means that it is odd if it does not give us zero, then I'm going to say median is equal to what? Is equal to so first I'm going to just calculate the mid here. Mid is equal to uh, line a floor divided by floor divided by two and yeah. So Length a floor divided by two. So the median is simply going to be the element at this position. Else, if it's even, so I'm going to say else in this case it is even. We are now going to calculate the median. We are calculating the average of element at mid and element at mid minus one. So I'm going to say median. Median is equal to a mid plus a mid minus one uh, divided by two like this so this is going to be uh let me see minus one okay perfect 
So they want us to print out, let me see. So they want us to print out the items in three different lines. So mean, median, and mode, I think. So let me just cross check. So they want us printing mean, median, and mode. So I'm going to now go down and print out everything. So I'm going to print mean and print median and finally print mode. There is something that we need to take note of in the question, uh, how the output format is going to be. So it says, it says uh, let me see. So it says other than the modal value, which always be an integer, your answers should be in decimal form, rounded off to scale of one decimal place. So other than the mode, which is going to be an integer, so I'm going to just um, the mean is going to be rounded off to one decimal place. So I'm going to round this off to round this off to one decimal place like this, and I'm also going to round. Why do we have error here? So yeah, I'm also going to round the median to one decimal place as well. So round uh, to one decimal place like this. Okay, so let's go try run this thing and let's see what we have. So it passes the sample test case and I'm going to submit this. Uh, let's see what we have as well. And you can see, oh, it failed test case 3. So let's go cross check what the problem is. Oh, so I know where the problem is coming from. Uh, in this piece of code right here, we are going to be checking the count of the current element to check if it's greater than the count so it's not when it's greater than the mode but when it is greater than the count so i'm going to submit at this point and hopefully everything should be fine now yeah so everything worked as you can see and i'd like to thank you for viewing uh please remember to subscribe to my channel in the next part we continue and i remain kind on the tech pro and i'm always there for you